I'm going to pull a biblical reaper and give you some news on Call of Duty 2000 and motherfucking 17 as hashtag the hammer Glenn Schofield has been tweeting after his gym binging sessions. He rattled off the following messages. We're designing a new game, so in design mode, I do art. That's how I think. Probably weird, but it's my way of concentrating. And can't talk about the game, but we listened and I am so fucking stoked about this one. Apparently, Glenn doesn't know how many letters are in fucking based on his self-censorship. Anyways, does this mean Advanced Warfare 2 has been confirmed? It seems by him saying, we listen, means that they're going to improve on the feedback they got from their first Call of Duty installment, Advanced Warfare, for the inevitable sequel. Either that or he's just trying to show off his sensitive side of listening like he does when he shows off his drawings, which consequently is what he alludes to in the first tweet. Based on his prior artwork, we can fully expect that the next Call of Duty game to be designed to look like it was made by those people that robbed tourists of their money, doing caricatures on what's left of the Jersey Shore after Hurricane Sandy. We do also know that Sledgehammer Games is working on a Vietnam-era third-person style Call of Duty game, which was scrapped when they had to help out the shell of Infinity War to finish MW3. A little more on that later. So, could they be returning to that idea? Nah, it's Activision, fam. It's gonna be the regurgitated futuristic shooter formula until it grows as stale as the World War II shooters did before most of you plebs got into FPS games. Staying with Sledgehammer Games, there's Activision Actually, some advanced warfare news in that new loot and guns were put into supply drops for the Xbox One, clearly the superior gaming platform. Don't feel so bad about the PS4's exclusivity deal in Black Ops 3 UX box, guys. At least you're still getting content first in advanced warfare. The new weapons include two guns that don't belong anywhere near a game called Advanced Warfare in the Sten SMG, which is used during World War II, and the lever action assault rifle, which is a fucking cowboy gun, and a futuristic SMG called the Repulsor which, coincidentally, is the codename for Advanced Warfare. New gear is also available, including Hunter, Racer, and Astronaut after the wild success it was on Call of Duty Goats, and for the holiday season, a Gingerbread Man, which looks like a Ghostbuster if it was drawn by somebody with an extra 23rd chromosome. Well, at least the guys at Sledgehammer Game are continuing to update their game so that the content creators that aren't actually entertaining at all can continue to make supply drop videos looking for new gear, even though there are more people playing bingo on a Tuesday night at your local church in Advanced warfare at that same time and there's also more excitement in that room than in those videos too now switching gears to another future call of duty game call of duty 2016 you might remember that a few months ago mark rubin left the company after not having tweeted since november of 2013 of the year his game actually came out and todd alderman former multiplayer designer left respawn to join infinity ward again as he had been part of the team that brought call of duty 4 and modern warfare 2 well it seems that the revolving door is added again with alderman leaving Advanced Warfare to join back with Respawn, which probably gives you an indication of how well the development of, gasp, Ghost 2 is going. Ugh. Just saying that phrase out loud makes my balls retreat back into my body. Hopefully you won't be taking any ideas back to respawn for Titanfall 2 because Ghost is devoid of any of them. Now on to some Black Ops 3 news. Treyarch announced that Double Weapon XP would be going on tomorrow, November 26th through Monday, November 30th. So after you stuff your fat ass full of food on Thanksgiving, waddle over to the couch and play some Black Ops 3 instead of watching football because you're a degenerate nerd and not a real American. Plus, who the fuck wants to watch the racist eagles against the Terror Bad Lions? You're probably one of those assholes that likes cranberry sauce too, aren't you? Well, that's going to do it for your Call of Duty News of the Week. I've been The Schwartz 27 out like Notre Dame in the FCS playoffs. Until next time.